Okay, my computer's beeping. Ignore it. I wanted to do a brief, uh, beginning point, um, ballet video. My mom did childish things to the first one, um, so I'm gonna make a second one. Okay. I've got my ballet shoes done, but I'm going to retie them, so maybe I'll show you how to tie point shoes. Anyway, I got on my original ones that are pretty well broken in, and I'm just going to do a few uh, beginning point exercises. I wouldn't recommend just jumping into point or buying a pair of point shoes without being properly fitted by an instructor or someone that knows what they're doing. Because you could seriously run into a number of foot injuries. And um, these are, uh, I have on be my beginning point soft uh, shank shoes. Like soft shank means basically the uh, arch in the, this part of your shoe is uh, softer. Like this is a harder shoe. It's, that, and also because it's a new shoe, and I've only tr been trying to break it in because my old ones are on their way to dead. Dead point shoes offer little or no support. Then, anyways, like when you break in your point shoes, you want to um, do a number of things. You want to make sure the this box part makes no noise like these are pretty loud um, and also you want to bend this part to where it makes a nice little place for your heel to sit and um, I'll show you another trick with standing on them when I stand up on mine um, I also like to tie my ribbons in the back to where some people prefer to tie them or to sew them on the sides, but mine have elastic to where my ribbons will stretch when I move up and down. Um, I'm sorry, my hair looks like crap. It snowed today and it didn't go well with my hair care products. Um, anyways, like I also will tear up my soles and I'll, and also a trick is to keep your ribbons from fraying is to uh, burn them just a little bit and you can also use lighters to burn um, the tips of your shoes so you get uh, better traction and also you take scissors to be smart and crisscross I also make a point of deciding which is going to be my left and right shoe and I mark it so that way I'll train my feet to go to make a left and right shoe that when you get your point shoes they don't have a left or right shoe so you have two matching identical shoes because when I first got mine I was like I have two of the same shoe I have two left shoes <laughs> and they're like no you don't they, they're made identical and I'm like oh <laughs> yeah um but anyways like Hang on, I'll show you real quick. Cause I've messed up tying mine. I was, I was lazy. Okay. Um, but anyways, I have to retie mine. These have been worn a little bit, but I had decided to get a backup pair because I lose shit really easy. And also, I'm wearing like pants instead of tights. That beeping noise is really annoying. Okay. I also like to double knot mine. And also, like, if you ever buy just ribbon instead of buying it from a, a dance store, you want to get two and a half yards of ribbon that match your shoes. And if you're not sure, take your shoe to the fabric store. But here they are untied, and you want to start by going over. Under and then around to the back. 
back and I double knock them. And then I tie them in the back. So for like that's a quick way to tie them. So you're not like sitting there like and then they're tied. And then you wanna tuck your ribbons in. Like see this little ribbon in the back, you wanna tuck it in. If it would behave, technology and various things lately have not been the greatest. I'm gonna tie this one too, it came loose. See that's what happens when you're lazy. Tying. Especially if you have on tights. They all slink down. And see it comes from the back. It's over. You want to make sure it's fairly tight too. Don't, not too tight. And, um, here. and then you make it tight in the back. And I double knot it. And make a nice little bow and tuck that in there see that's what it should look all right Ugh. i gotta work on this dumb computer position again jake you're in my video I uh, like when uh, I was talking about breaking in point shoes before, like another, you can spray them with water where the wood meets um, your shoe. You can spray it with water to make it more flexible, but when you're ready for point, you should be able to bend your foot upward, like minus five, to all the way down here, like that. So, and you can also stand on your box so they won't, they should creak for a little bit, but that'll go away. And it'll help you make less sound when you jump up. Another trick is to have um, a nice arch to your shoe is to stand up and do this. This is also another decent exercise is to bend your feet way forward. And also, and just basically you want to just start by like gently rising up like this. All the way up like that. And gently back down like so. All the way up. And gently back down. Like so. Well, I didn't do it so well. It's going back down. You just kind of want to do your exercises like so, and really practice pointing. doing this cat anyways okay I didn't get to practice as much as I'd like to show you because I have an entourage of dogs and cats but um, if anybody has any other questions 
please feel free to ask and peace and happy dancing.